So I've been tagged to do five signature scent worthy fragrances for men. So if you're looking for a fragrance that will just pretty much be versatile for all occasions, all seasons, and just works, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And also be sure to follow my fragrance Instagram page where I have been extremely active, pretty much posting daily content over there. But that's correct guys. And today we're talking about signature scent worthy fragrances because I have been tagged from both Bro Scents, so shout out to you, and TLTG Reviews Ross because in my live stream earlier on, or last weekend actually, we were talking about this and they tagged me and they left it as the open tag. So I will do the same. I'll leave this as an open tag. So if you're a fellow fragrance content creator, definitely be sure to check out this tag and do it yourself. So in this list, I do have some cheapies. I have some middle range fragrances and a little bit of a, a niche as well. So I did want to bring a variety of things and I did watch theirs as well. And I didn't want to be redundant. So I tried to bring some stuff a little bit different that would be great for a signature scent. So let's start this off. And this is going to be in no order, just five signature scent worthy fragrances that men can definitely use for versatility and just kind of as a dumb reach and it would just work. So let's start this list off at the first one. So the first fragrance we're talking about is actually a line that is just perfect for a signature scent that is extremely popular. And I didn't want to be generic and pick the original. So I picked my favorite flanker from the entire line. And of course, I'm talking about Dior Sauvage Elixir. Now, I know Ross over at TOTG Reviews picked his favorite flanker, which I believe was the Parfum. And Elixir is definitely mine, guys. If you're looking for more sophisticated, a little bit more grown up version of the original EDT that's not as piercing and sharp with that Ambroxan note, you're gonna absolutely want to check out Sauvage Elixir. now. Obviously Elixir is much more potent, much more dense. That's what makes it perfect for like the fall and winter and also spring and summer because you still get that Sauvage DNA with the Ambroxan, but you get a lot more lavender in here. It still has that spicy peppery vibe in the composition as well, which Dior Sauvage DNA is known for. So you still get that, but if you just don't want to smell like everybody else that's wearing Dior Sauvage, the original, you definitely gonna want to check out Elixir, even though it is on the higher end side of things for a 60 mil bottle, which is the only size that actually comes in. But I gotta tell you guys, you're not gonna need many sprays with this one, probably one or two. It's gonna be absolutely perfect for you to get through the entire day. Smell good, huge compliment magnet that people will lose their mind over when they smell you and they'll be asking you to write that fragrance down because that is honestly how good it is, guys. And like I said, it works for dates, it works for work, it works for all seasons. So yeah, this is the first one we're talking about is Sauvage Elixir. So the next one we're talking about guys is actually a niche fragrance, but it actually has signature in the name and is perfect as a signature fragrance because Tama Zaharov's signature pour Ohm. Man, I absolutely love this one. If you're looking for a classy, sophisticated barbershop fougere fragrance with a twist, you're gonna absolutely love Signature Pour Ohm, guys. You do have a, obviously a lavender note in here, but what makes it different, it stands out and gives it a little bit of a modernist uh, touch to it, is you do have some resinous qualities with like myrrh. I'm a huge fan of myrrh. You have a dry down of oud. And it's just very, very complex. I gotta say that, man. What George did with this, he did a phenomenal job. It's so complex. It's always changing on your skin. But of course, this is also a signature worthy fragrance. And even Bro Sense actually chose Signature Pour Homme as well in his list alongside some other flankers from him. But man, I absolutely love this one. Like I said, it works for a formal event. It also could be dressed down casually as well because like I said, it is very classy, sophisticated, gentlemanly, but you can dress it down to run errands and things of that nature as well or wear it to work too. It just works for all seasons, all occasions. And that's exactly why Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme is making this list 100%. All right, so the third fragrance on this list is actually a fragrance that did get a ton of hype, but man, this is a good, good fragrance that has gotten me so many compliments. One of my most complimented fragrances that I've ever actually owned and have been wearing. And of course, I'm talking about Fragrance One's Office for Men. So with Office for Men, what Jeremy was going for was of course a compliment magnet beast. And he did do that with this one. People love it, women love it. I'm always getting asked what I'm wearing when I'm going out restaurants wearing this one, write that fragrance down. 
et cetera, et cetera. It's just nonstop when you wear this, but it is also fantastic as a signature scent. I think it's the best signature scent fragrance within the entire line compared to Date For Man and Black Tie. Those ones are more suited for um, special occasions and things like that, but Office For Men, guys, just works very versatile. With this one, you, of course, you do have that bergamot, which is very nice. It is a little bit synthetic. I do have to admit that. But you also get a ton of Ambroxan, which gives it a very modern twist to it. Of course, Ambroxan is known in like Savas. Ambroxan is a very versatile note as well. Of course, Ambroxan just makes it very masculine, very crowd pleasing, and just very versatile. And this actually has more Ambroxan than even the original Savas, to my nose at least. Just an Ambroxan bomb. And also, with what I, why I chose this one for a signature scent and worthy fragrance is because the performance is absolutely nuclear. And I do have to tell you guys though, Jeremy has been doing some weird things with this brand, saying that he's discontinuing them, did a huge sell. So if you're looking for this one, now would be the best time to get your hands on it. I'm telling you right now because it might not be around long. Don't hate the fragrance just because of Jeremy was obviously the CEO of Fragrance One. Because if you hate this fragrance, you're actually hating Alberto Marias because he was the perfumer. And of course he's known for all of the Aquity Joes, which is another good signature worthy line but that is kind of generic a lot of people wear that one so yeah fragrance ones office for men is definitely going to make this list all right so next up on this list is actually kind of a hidden gem somewhat a lot of people don't really talk about this one or know much about it but man this is a good tobacco signature worthy fragrance and i'm talking about ormond james mon tobacco verano of course coming in this blue bottle now i did you did hear that correct i did say tobacco signature worthy fragrances because tobacco is most of the time used for like fall and winter, not spring and summer. But what Ormond Jane did with this one, guys, is just perfectly done the way they mixed the grapefruit, suede, tobacco notes together and made it kind of a blue fragrance, hence the, the bottle design as well. Just works all year round, all seasons, guys. So if you actually love the note of tobacco and are looking for a fresher tobacco fragrance that works in the summer and springtime, you're going to absolutely love Mont Tobacco Verano, guys. It's done so well. It has a photorealistic grapefruit note in the opening. And you do get a ton of that kind of um, fuzzy suede, which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of suede. I must prefer leather fragrances. But yeah, you do get suede in here, but you also get like a cherry pipe tobacco, especially as it dries down. But guys, it never turns too dark that it wouldn't work in the spring and summer. So yeah, Mon Tobacco Verano had to make this list. If you're looking for a niche, expensive smelling fragrance that is just signature worthy and works all year round, definitely check out this one. All right, so last but definitely not least is actually a more of a cheaper fragrance that I actually prefer over the fragrance that it is sort of inspired by. And of course, I'm talking about our Moss Hunter's Intense, guys. That is correct. You heard me right. Our Moss Hunter Intense. This one you can pick up at a very affordable price and it's 100% worth it, guys. Now with this one, it is similar to Dior Sauvage, the original ED team, but I also heard it is compared to Invictus from Paco Rabanne, like a combination of the two, which I don't own Invictus. I don't really remember what it smells like. I think it's sort of like bumblegummy sweet. But yeah, I do get a similarity to Dior Sauvage. Very peppery, have a ton of bergamot in here. A little bit of Ambroxan as well, but guys, I love this one even more than Dior Sauvage ADT, which is surprising to probably a lot of you guys, but this stuff just works. This also gets me a ton of compliments. Even hours in the day after applying this one, this one still projects off my skin. So it is actually very, very strong. This of course is the EDP Intense. I do have the original in the brown bottle, which is a completely different fragrance, smell nothing alike. So this is by far my favorite within the Hunter line, guys, and 100% signature worthy, works all year round, all occasions, all seasons, and you will get a ton of compliments, and you can pick these up for probably around 25 to 30 bucks on like your discounters or like Amazon as well. And I did do a full review of this that you can go check out if you wanna hear a little bit more in depth about it. But yeah, our Moss Hunter Intense definitely is making this list for very good reasons, guys. But that's gonna do it for my tag video of five signature scent worthy fragrances for men. Like I said, I am leaving this as a open tag. So if you are a creator, definitely hop on this tag, share some five of your signature scent worthy fragrances for the viewers to check out. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like down below, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and also leave a comment of some signature worthy fragrances that you guys have been enjoying, or if you have a signature scent yourself. But yeah, I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.